You know, it's summertime when the Adirondack chairs come out. Want to build one? Let's do it. As always, we start on the lighter stage. Here we get the, the rough lumber cut down to size and stacked into piles. It's a pretty standard cut list, so it doesn't take very long. After they are cut down to size, we'll get one edge jointed and one face plane down to the root. I'm using 5 quarter S4S cedar, so it doesn't take much to mill, but it's always a little bit more than Once everything is cut down and sized, I start with the templates. I'm using a template since I'm making quite a few of these chairs and I want them all to match. I like this system and will have a link to them in the notes. I've made some changes to them over the years and have been thinking about making a new set of templates that would allow me to be more useful and use them on a router setup. That would really speed things up. Have those templates I can't use my router table. I'll cut everything out on the bandsaw. It can be a little tedious but you just have to get close. Here I get the bandsaw cuts dialed in and some of the edges in. More hand sanding to come, but for now, this works. This is a 27 degree cut for the upper seats.
the drum sander makes quick work for all the faces and all the pieces. It really helps when it's clean. Even with a dust collector at full blast, the shop smells great with all this seed. Quick round over with the Kong router. Lots of dust here, but it's a necessary step. Don't skip it. Both sides, all the way around. Finally time to assemble. We start by connecting the two long legs. Everything is pre-drilled and plug cut with a 3 8 bit. The lower support is next, followed by the two front legs. I find it easier and cleaner to pre-drill the leg holes before installing them. It adds another step of drilling, but it's better than trying to get it all drilled with one clamp holding it all together in an awkward sort of way. Hold it all together. I'm using quarter inch black coated exterior carriage bolts that are two and a half inches long. If you are using three quarter stock, two inch bolts are fine. I like the way the black looks after everything's finished, but stainless carriage bolts are fine too. Attaching the arm bracket and then the arm is the trickiest part of this build. After attaching the arm brackets, I like to go ahead and plug them now before you put the arm on, it kind of gets in your way a little bit. to think about using a clamp like this to position the arm on top and secure it tightly before pre-drilling it, but once I figured it out, it sure is a breeze. Try it for yourself. It's the third arm you need to properly do this.
attached to the backrest along with the seat slats are pretty easy. You just take your time, line everything up, start in the middle, then go outside and work your way in. Find the spacing and go. If I remember correctly, I think each chair needs 47 clubs. Before I start finishing, I make sure to send everything to 180, if not 220. Then, in between coats at 220, and before the last and final coat, 320. All that's left now is to sit back and relax. Happy summer.